If you're working on a recorder that may have been programmed or calibrated incorrectly, you can reset the unit for a fresh start by following the system reset procedure. The system reset is performed by electronically clearing out and re-entering the model number. In order to do this, you'll need the ability to power down the recorder and then hold certain keys while you reapply the power. You're also going to want to take note of the complete model number which is listed on the sticker on the chart pattern directly behind the chart paper. The first step of the system reset involves powering down the recorder and once the power is off you're going to press and hold the up and down arrow keys. While you're holding the keys you're going to reapply power. Once the power comes on, you're going to see the model number of the recorder appear on the left hand display, but it's important that you continue to hold the keys long enough to see that model number come up a second time. Once it comes up a second time, you can release the keys. When the model number comes up a second time, it may appear differently as it's reset to the default model number. You can continue to let the recorder go through its startup sequence and eventually it's going to settle out on some values. The values on the display are not going to represent the true temperature at this time as the recorder will need to be reprogrammed. Step two of the system reset involves re-entering the model number. In order to do this, again, we're going to need to remove power from the recorder this time, instead of holding the up and the down arrow keys, we're going to hold the scroll and the down key. While we're holding the keys, we're going to reapply power, but we're not going to hold the keys for very long. Once I turn the power back on, you're going to see the first four digits of the model number appear on the left-hand display. And once they appear, we're going to wait for the goals to go blank. As soon as they go blank, I'm going to release the keys and the first four digits should reappear. And that will put us into edit mode where we can re-enter the correct model number. So I'm going to power up the recorder while holding the scroll and the down key. There's the first four digits. When it goes blank, I'm going to release the keys and we should see those four digits come back. Now we're in edit mode. So my first four digits are 3110. That is correct for my model number. To get to the next set of four digits, I press the scroll key, and now I have the next set, and I need these to be 0010. So I just press the up arrow key repeatedly until I get the digits to match my model number. Once they're correct, I press the scroll key, and it goes to the next set of four digits. And if they need to be adjusted, I would use the up or down arrow keys. In this case, the 0021 is correct for my model number. So I'm going to press the scroll key. And once again, I can just let the court recorder complete its startup sequence. And at that point, it'll be ready to be reprogrammed. This completes the system reset procedure. The recorder is now set to all default parameters. So it will now need to be reprogrammed.